So I love this issue of Brides. I actually really enjoy these magazines, believe it or not. If you are getting married, or regardless of whether you're getting married or not, let me know what you think of these wedding capes. Like, I think it looks really dope. Let me flip to the page with her on it. She looks hot, and I think the cape is super cool. It's like an alternative for a veil. So this is an example of a cape. I already circled it and said cute. So here's a picture of Serena on her wedding day. I think her cape looks really cute. I'm such a fan of it on her. I don't know if I'd like it on me because I really like this veil as well. I like it's just super simple. Just like a little beading around the edges. Obviously I said love that veil. <laughs> but yeah, it's like just really simple. And this dress is kind of similar to mine. If you've watched my wedding dress video, you'd probably know that. But I still have to get so many alterations done to it. I'm so nervous about how it's going to turn out, to be honest. So yeah, that was just a little something that I wanted your guys' opinion on. So leave a comment down below of what you thought about those veils. I just really don't know what I want yet. I need to see something with my dress on my head. Or a cape. I don't even know. It's a possibility. Hey, guys. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name's Liz and I hope you're ready for a story because today's vlog was just one of the most fun weekends of my life. There were lots of surprises and lots of emotions involved in this weekend. I was first faced with a big decision. The first emotion I experienced this weekend was indecision and just lots and lots of pressure about deciding on a certain piece of jewelry that I will be wearing on my finger for the rest of my life. That is the first part of the story. But I also was faced with shock and awe and surprise, which I'll get into a little bit more later, but let's just say this surprise brought tears to my eyes. So this weekend started out with, we dropped Rosalie off with her grandma. Zach's mom offered to watch her this weekend because she actually knew about the surprise that was happening. I did not. I thought she was just being very generous <laughs> um, and wanted to spend time with Rosalie, which is normal for her because they are just two peas in a pod. So what happened was we dropped Rosalie off with her grandma and then we set off to go look for some wedding bands. It's kind of hard to describe what it's like spending multiple days apart from your child if you don't have children, but if you have children, you know that it's kind of weird when you don't have a little toddler to be chasing around and there's no mouths to feed and there's no butts to wipe. It's a little bit weird of a feeling, but it's very invigorating, I must say. Finally, some beautiful weather in my life. I could not be more grateful for the sunshine. Could you roll up your window for a sec, honey bunny? I'm going to go look at some wedding bands today. Rosalie is with her granny, and we have the weekend to ourselves. How do we feel about this, Zach? Literally, he has nothing to say. Nothing. But I would love to show you guys the wedding bands. Hopefully we find the one we want to go with today. So we're on our way there right now and I will check back in when we get there. They must have really, they must have really known. <laughs> <laughs> well, still there we go. The, the diamonds are too small. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's it. Yeah, I don't think those diamonds are the same size. Maybe As the are. one in my engagement ring? Maybe they are. they are. Are those the same size? Those ones are small.
Like I really do. But I I love them both. You think the other one? So this one's from Healthbergs, and this one's from K's. My engagement ring is from K's, so we would have to unsolder this band from the engagement ring. If there was like a loose diamond, for example, we had to actually replace the diamond. In any situation like that, we'd have to unsolder the band from the engagement ring to take it to K's. So, I don't know, it's a hard decision. I'm struggling, y'all. Sarah's not answering my phone call, and I need her to make my decision for me. I trust her opinion way more than Zach's. <laughs> so as you can see, now I was faced with a decision between two rings that I thought I loved equally, okay? Like this is hard. But long story short, I had to call my mom. I had to send the pictures to my sister's group chat so I could get their opinions. Finally, I had to blow up my sister Sarah's phone because she wouldn't answer and <laughs> tell me her opinion. And I needed her opinion because it's very important. I value her opinion much higher than Zach's, that's for sure. <laughs> we did the thing. Are you excited about our decision, honey? Yeah. We went with your choice. I'm right. <laughs> Only because Sarah called me back and <laughs> gave me her opinion. I love how she makes it seem like it was your decision. <laughs> like, we did what you chose, man. <laughs> Three hours later. You do it way better than I do. Do it again. Do it again! One time do. Drum roll, please. And we went with. And I'm 100% happy with our decision. I was gonna wait to get the band soldered together because I wanted it to be like a new thing after the actual wedding takes place in September. We're getting married September 2019. I decided not to wait because Zach thinks it's stupid to wait and they talked me into it. Okay, I, I wanted the extra diamonds. I'll, I just have to admit it. And I get it back in a week. Hellsbergs guarantees a seven day, seven days and done. Now we're headed home. We gotta shampoo the carpets today, hang a picture. Zach thinks we have this big long list we're supposed to do. I'll leave it later. Take a nap. I have a lot of editing to do, actually. Before I finish that portion of the story, I want to tell you about my surprise. So after we got home Friday night, like I said, I had a bunch of editing to do, and so I finished it all. I recorded the voiceover I needed to record, and I pressed upload. I sat on the couch, and I casted it to our TV. We have Chromecast. So I watched it just to review it and make sure everything looked perfect before I ended my work for the night. And so after I finished watching that video, I was looking down, responding to a comment, and Zach had gone outside to say, he said he was getting a tool or something out of his van. So he walks back inside and Zach wasn't the only one in the room. I look up and my two best friends in the whole world were standing in my living room. They had driven two hours to surprise me. Zach, his mom, and my best friend Lauren, Lauren and Kelsey were in on it. I'm not even going to lie, I completely cried. Like, I don't know if I was just so overwhelmed with happiness or just, I just, my two favorite people were just standing in the room with me. So, <laughs> so since I didn't know they were coming, I didn't get it on camera, obviously. I thought I was done vlogging for the day, so I didn't even have my camera out. But we spent the rest of the night just hanging out. We actually got some cookies. We went to a place called Insomnia Cookies. They serve warm cookies and ice cold milk till 3 a.m. I'll show you a clip of that from my Snapchat. Oh my gosh, so mom. So after we got chocolate chip cookies, we came back here, we drank some, I think we drank some wine, we probably did, and we watched Harry Potter. So come on, perfect end of the night, just nothing crazy, but then on Saturday, that's when we decided to have some more fun. We got a little bit dressed up, and we went shopping, duh. My friend Kelsey actually considered getting a tattoo while she was here, so that was fun, but unfortunately she forgot her ID. So she didn't end up getting a tattoo, which is disappointing, but it was fine. I have not had a radio since I've had this car. And this girl told me about this Bluetooth device. Now all you have to do is connect to it. Bluetooth connection is successful. Oh my gosh. It's about to go down right now. Where's my Spotify? 
Where is my necky? Chun Li. Oh my goodness. Hey, yo. After that we went shopping of course we went to TJ Maxx because she hadn't been to TJ Maxx before and you guys know that that is not acceptable in my book oh no honey you have to shop at TJ Maxx honey cute fit thank you <laughs> Lauren oh that's your outfit you're wearing but it's so cute <laughs> okay I'm gonna try the other pair of jeans this is what I'm currently wearing it's so casual, but like I'm actually kind of obsessed. The choker and the boots are making everything. And I'm definitely getting these pants for Jamaica. Literally. Because Zach and I are going to Jamaica for our honeymoon. I'm still wearing my pants underneath, so. Can I? This is where I start telling you about the mishaps. For some reason, there was just lots of things happening that weren't to plan. Specifically happening to Lauren. When we got to TJ Maxx, that's when it just hit the fan. <laughs> so what happened was we got all our shopping done. We found a lot of stuff. When we were in line, so my friend Lauren, she's just like a chapstick fanatic. Like she needs chapstick, which I'm the same. I also need chapstick. I always have my tinted lip balm with me. What happened was, you know how chapstick has like a little thing on the inside when you twist it up? It's just, it sits on the inside. So she opens her chapstick and the little thing that holds the actual chapstick fell face down on the floor. <laughs> like, that's the worst. Actually, that's not the worst. What happened next was the worst. This was like two minutes later, maybe not even, after she dropped her chapstick face down on the floor. Um, the heel of her shoe, like she was wearing high heels and it came off. It broke off completely. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I had to vlog it. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. Hello to YouTube. It started with the chapstick and now we're here, bro. Literally, Lauren just dropped her chapstick face down on <laughs> so what happened was the ladies at checkout at TJ Maxx, shout out to you Don, you have the best customer service out there, but what happened was they yeah. spent like 15 minutes just trying to fix Lauren's shoe. Like how kind of them to take time out of their day to try and save Lauren's shoe. Hold on. She didn't end up wearing it because she was too nervous that it was going to come off, which this is probably a smart decision. Lauren did not find it entertaining that I was filming the whole thing, but I told her, I was like, looking back on this is going to be funny. I know right now you hate me, but you're going to look back on this and laugh. Because of these mishaps, we are actually like a half hour late to dinner, but it's okay. Everything worked out. We made it to Osaka in no time, and it was really good. It's always fun. It's like the hibachi, so if you've never been to a hibachi, they cook the food right in front of you. It's kind of an experience, and especially if the person cooking is like really entertaining, which our guy was very entertaining. Are you good? Yeah, you look great, thanks! <laughs> Oh, I feel good.
definitely try the sexy girl roll like this is a roll I get every time I go because it's so good it's like it's not like super adventurous for sushi and it's not it probably wouldn't be even considered real sushi by most but it's good okay give me a break I like real sushi too I'll eat anything I'll eat any sushi that's good quality like I will literally try anything <laughs> you don't like it <laughs> not a fan oh oh no <laughs> we picked up two bottles of wine, danced in my living room a little bit, and then we watched Bruce Almighty and just relaxed. It was so much fun! Like, that is what you do with your best friends. I could not have asked for a better surprise for this weekend. I was really in need of some girl time, like, un uninterrupted by my sweet little peach baby. <laughs> I love her, but, like, it's so good to have a little break sometimes. And I feel like it's so necessary to have a break sometimes. Michelle, if you're watching this, thank you for watching the baby. Just everyone who was involved in surprising me this weekend, I really, I needed it. And I really appreciate it so much. Long story short, the ring we went with, I'm not going to tell you for sure right now because I'm totally going to be that person and make you wait for the vlog on Friday when I pick it up. So you'll get to see, and it's only going to be a week, I promise. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you're notified as soon as I upload that vlog. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you stuck around and watched my video. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you go find me there. I post lots of motivational content, a lot of fitness related content, and baby pics. I will link that in the description below. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And we will talk very, very soon. Thank you so much for your support. And I love you guys. All right, bye bye. Say I love you. I love you. Oh, you are so sweet.